Is it time to buy or sell Google stock? In this video, we are diving deep into Google. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, the 12th of September, 2024, and now we are here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You do not want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and deep analysis for any one among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since the 3rd of September, 2024, our system has identified Google as a sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 1.88. Now let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. The stock has faced a decline of 1.70%. This amounts to an average loss of 0.21% per day since it was designated as a sell candidate. The stock is currently positioned in the midst of a broad and declining trend in the short term, indicating that further declines within this trend are likely. The existing three-month trend points to a potential decrease of approximately 16.62% over the upcoming three months with possible returns ranging from a decrease of 20.45% to a decrease of 9.98%. In terms of the 12-month outlook, this trend suggests a change of 33.46% over the next year, with potential returns positioned between 28.6% and 72.7%. This would correspond to a price range of approximately $198.93 to $267.16 after one year. Our latest daily update for Google includes the headline, Green Day on Thursday for Google. On the last trading day, which was Thursday, the 12th of September, 2024, the Google stock price increased by 2.34%, rising from $151.16 to $154.69. During this trading session, the stock experienced fluctuations of 1.41%, ranging from a low of $152.66 to a high of $154.82. Notably, the stock has declined in six of the last 10 days, resulting in a decrease of 5.01% over this period. Furthermore, Trading volume fell by 236,000 shares on the last day, with a total of 29 million shares being exchanged, amounting to approximately $4.44 billion. It is important to note that a decrease in volume alongside rising prices can indicate divergence and may serve as an early warning of potential changes in the coming days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price reached $191.75, while the lowest price was $120.21. Currently, the price is 19.33%, or $37.06, .06 below the 52-week high, and 93.68%, or $2,294.23, below the all-time high recorded on the 14th of June, 2021, when the price peaked at $2,448 and 92 cents. This scrutiny could lead to regulatory hurdles that might impact Google's operations in Europe, creating uncertainty that could dampen investor sentiment in the short term. Additionally, internal documents presented at Google's antitrust trial revealed that the company anticipated negative reactions from publishers regarding its advertising technology changes. This backlash could further complicate Google's already strained relationships within the publishing industry, impacting its advertising revenue. Despite these challenges, Alphabet has reported strong earnings, indicating resilience in key segments like YouTube advertisements and Google search. This suggests potential for recovery, 
especially as analysts project the stock could approach $500 in the long term, driven by favorable market conditions. Moreover, a meeting at the White House involving Google's leadership and other artificial intelligence executives suggests active engagement with policymakers. This proactive approach in shaping the regulatory landscape might foster a more favorable environment for artificial intelligence development. However, increasing competition from platforms like ChatGPT poses a long-term challenge for Google search. If this trend continues, it could erode Google's market share, affecting its revenue potential going forward. Overall, while short-term uncertainties loom due to regulatory scrutiny and competition, Google's strong fundamentals and earnings performance position it for potential growth in the longer term. Investors should closely monitor these developments as they unfold. Analyst Ratings On Tuesday, the 10th of September, 2024, it was reported that Piper Sandler assigned Google an overweight rating with a hold action. On Wednesday, the 4th of September, 2024, it was reported that Cantor Fitzgerald assigned Google a neutral rating with an initiate action. On Wednesday, the 4th of September, 2024, it was reported that Evercore ISI assigned Google an outperform rating with a hold action. On Tuesday, the 3rd of September, 2024, it was reported that Wolf Research assigned Google a buy rating with a hold action. On Friday, the 23rd of August, 2024, it was reported that Goldman Sachs assigned Google a buy rating with a hold action. Analysts have assigned a general buy rating to Google stock. They classify the price-to-earnings ratio as a strong sell and the price-to-book ratio as strong sell. Regarding return on investment, analysts have awarded the stock a strong buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Google. Today, we see mixed signals in the stock. The Google stock presents a buy signal from the short-term moving average. However, the long-term average indicates a general sell signal. This is due to the long-term average being above the short-term average, which contributes to a more negative outlook for the stock. If the stock continues to rise, it will encounter resistance from the long-term moving average at $161.99. Conversely, if the stock declines, it will find some support from the short-term average at $152.55. A breakout above the long-term average would trigger another buy signal, whereas a drop below the short-term average would introduce an additional sell signal, reinforcing the overall negative sentiment. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, commonly known as MACD. A buy signal was generated from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, September 10th, 2024, and since then, the stock has increased by 4.06%. Further increases are anticipated until a new top pivot is established. Notably, trading volume decreased during the last trading day despite rising prices. This discrepancy between volume and price may serve as an early warning. Therefore, it's essential to monitor the stock closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, buy signal three days ago. Bollinger, buy signal three days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal two days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 37 days ago. The relationship between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 37 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal 10 days ago the long-term moving average, sell signal 30 days ago, the relationship between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 22 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to discover more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for Google. Google finds support from accumulated volume at $151.16. This level may represent a buying opportunity as an upward reaction is anticipated when this support is tested. This stock typically experiences average daily movements and with adequate trading volume, its risk can be classified as medium. 
Over the past day, the stock fluctuated $2.16 between its high and low, which is a change of 1.41%. For the last week, the stock demonstrated a daily average volatility of 3.02%. Before we dive into the potential favorable trading levels for Google, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This important ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its earnings per share. This PE ratio is considered relatively normal, often observed in companies with long-standing histories or predictable revenue streams. In other news, the next earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 is anticipated on the 20th of October, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.83 per share. Keep an eye on these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now, let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Google. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Google is at $159.25. If you do not currently own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Google faces its first support level at $151.16. If this support level holds, it could serve as a favorable entry point anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Google from various analyst sources is classified as a buy. Now, let's examine some recent insider trades. On the 10th of September, 2024, O'Toole Ami Thuiner executed an insider sale of 2,835 shares of Class C capital stock. On the 6th of September, 2024, Walker John Kent made an insider purchase of 21,467 shares of Class C capital stock. On the same day, Walker John Kent also conducted an insider sale of 21,467 shares of Class C capital stock. On the 3rd of September, 2024, Walker John Kent carried out an insider sale of 4,567 shares of Class C capital stock. On that same day, Walker John Kent conducted another insider sale of 2,887 shares of Class C capital stock. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades reveals that the insider power is negative, with a ratio of negative 10.330. In total, insiders acquired 599,415 shares, while selling 750,584 shares in the last 100 trades. Our assessment of this stock is unfavorable, and we have not established a stop loss. Is Google stock a good buy? Currently, Google exhibits several negative indicators, leading us to believe that it will likely perform weakly over the coming days or weeks. Consequently, we maintain a negative assessment of this stock. After examining the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our analysis suggests that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Friday, the 13th of September, we anticipate that Google will open lower by approximately 633 ten thousandths and begin trading at $154.06. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and it is advisable to consult with a financial advisor before purchasing or selling any securities. Your investment decisions should not rely solely on stockinvest.us. By using the information provided, you acknowledge that you are responsible for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe, we wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day with warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.